to show you how to check a thermocouple. Move our plates. Thermocouple is this copper tube right here going in the top of the gas valve. It's a 3 8 inch wrench. Now we always want to look at the other end of the thermocouple as well. Which goes down here in the pilot head. Usually your face plate's got a couple screws in it so that you can get to the thermocouple itself. You always want to have a physical look at the thermocouple. The thermocouple being back in here, you can pull the end of the thermocouple usually right out of its housing. Be careful not to break the copper. Pull it out and have a look at the tip. Make sure the tip isn't burnt off. Tip looks good. Now you're always going to see some discoloration because it's in fire, but as long as the tip's in good shape, uh, at least you've taken a look at, look at it. But now we're going to check it electrically, so we're going to put it back up in its position. Push it until it goes all the way back up in the in the housing, and it's in the pilot itself. We're going to remove the thermocouple from the gas valve, 3 8 inch wrench, counterclockwise, let's get the tip so it's out, out of the gas valve. With the meter, you're going to set your meter for volts, and because the thermocouple produces DC volts on this particular meter, you have to hit the select button. So it changes to DC. Okay. Now we have to light the pilot. So we're going to have to come over here and turn the gas on. Make sure your gas is on. The gas valve needs to be running parallel with the pipe. So that's on. The top portion of this gas valve here, we have to have this gas cock has got to be in the pilot position so that the button can be pushed down. Okay. So all we're going to do now is we should get gas flow by holding the button down. Our main gas is on. So we're going to get in here to the pilot hood with our spark lighter and we're going to light the pilot. Now the pilot is striking the tip of the thermocouple. The thermocouple has two dissimilar metals in the tip that are now heating up, starting to produce what's called millivoltage. That millivoltage is less than one volt DC with the meter. We're looking for 26 millivolts or higher so we're going to attach one part of the meter, one lead in the meter to the copper of the thermocouple and the other part will go to the tip of the thermocouple and right now we're at 23.7 and climbing. 24 should be able to get about 30 millivolts out of a good thermocouple, but 26 or higher is acceptable. Okay. And we've reached 26. So what that tells us is the thermocouple is working good. It tells us the tip of the thermocouple is properly in the pilot flame. And we have a, problem, a good working thermocouple here. Disconnect our leads. You can simply let off of the gas valve. The pilot is now out. Putting the thermocouple back in is also important to pay attention to not cross thread it. It is delicate fine thread. So you'll want to always start everything with your fingers until it catches. Once it catches then you can tighten it up with your wrench. Once you've taken it down finger tight. Thermocouple, you don't want to tighten it down too tight. You just want to snug it up so that it's making good contact. Then we can go back, relight our pilot real quick, and just make sure that it works okay. We have to hold the button down typically about one minute for the thermocouple to produce the right voltage. Of course, we already had it hot, so it won't take that long. If you zoom down in here on this pilot, you'll see that I'm still holding on to it. But our pilot is lit. Now I'm going to release the valve and it should stay lit. 
Now I've let go of the valve, the pilot is lit. Then we come up here and we move this over to the on position. I've already checked to make sure the power is off. Now we're ready to go.